I'm Greg Lips, conservation biologist at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. And maybe you're asking yourself, what are you doing just sitting in a stream? Well, this isn't just any stream. This is one of the few streams left in Ohio that still has Eastern Hellbender salamanders. These are an incredible animal. One of the most prehistoric animals that are found in Ohio. And they've got all these kind of cool names, snot otter, old lasagna sides. And when you look at one, you see why. They're kind of a crazy alien looking animal with these folds of skin along their side, actually breathing through their skin. Small beady eyes because, you know, they're living underneath large rocks, so they don't need to see a whole lot. And if you haven't seen one, you need to come to the Ohio Center for Wildlife Conservation at the zoo, where you can now see what we're doing with Eastern Hellbenders. And what we're doing is we're collecting eggs from the wild. We're bringing them back to the zoo, rearing them in biosecure facilities, and then stocking them back into these streams to try to bolster populations. And we know that's necessary because our surveys have shown that hellbender populations have declined greatly throughout the state. In fact, many of the sites, they're no longer to be found. So we've been doing this for a long time. Our first egg collections occurred in 2011, and to date we have released over 2,000 hellbenders back into Ohio streams. Some people may ask, who cares about hellbenders? What, what good are they for? Hellbenders are probably the best water quality indicator there is because they're not able to go very far. So whatever happens during their long lifespan, and hellbenders can live 30 to 40 years, anything that happens in this water, they're gonna be facing it. And we all know in Ohio how important water is. We're blessed to have a lot of great water, but we also know that it faces a lot of challenges. The Ohio Hellbender Partnership is working really hard, not just to try to bring back hellbenders by putting animals back, but also by restoring all of this habitat and protecting these riparian corridors, the trees along the streams that make the habitat so important. Today, we released 24 hellbenders back to the site and now we're gonna release our final 25th animal for today. To learn more about Eastern Hellbenders, make sure you visit the Ohio Center for Wildlife Conservation, our new building that highlights so much of this work and allows for the first time an opportunity for you to see behind the scenes what it is that we're doing to rear these animals and bring them back to Ohio.